this is Yona from Field Teen Center, and I want to talk to you about Me, Moth, which is one of my favorite novels in verse that I've ever read. And it's not just me. This book won a bunch of awards. It was on the Best Fiction for Young Adults list. It was a Morris Award finalist, and it also won the John Steptoe Award for New Fiction. We own a print copy at Field Teen Center, but I read the ebook on the Libby app, which is available for free for anybody who has a library card. So there's multiple ways to check out this story. Please do, because it's so good. This story does come with some trigger warnings. It's about grief, so there are discussions of depression and also abuse. So if any of those are triggers for you, maybe not this story, because it's gonna punch you in the feelings. But if you're like me and you like when a book hurts your feelings, let's go. The main character, Moth, has lost almost her entire family in a car accident and she's feeling really alone and she feels like she can't even do the things that she used to love anymore, like dancing. But then she meets Sani, who is this neighbor boy who really likes to sing but is going through some tough stuff at home of his own and the two of them decide to essentially run away together and go on a road trip. So together with his Navajo traditions and her hoodoo traditions, they're unpacking their grief and they're making stops along the road that are personal to each of their childhoods and personal lives and also their political lives. She's black, so she was interested in visiting places that are really notable in the fight against slavery and black history. And he's interested in visiting monuments to the Trail of Tears. And so together they're learning about each other. They're feeling a lot of feelings and just trying to get through it together. Uh, because music and performance are a really big part of this book, it actually comes with its own playlist made by the author. So you can kind of follow along and listen to these songs while you're reading if you want to. Because it's a novel in verse, it's a really short read. I think I read the entire thing in one day. This is Amber McBride's first book, but you wouldn't know it because it's so well done, beautifully told, and it has a twist that is just going to rattle you to your soul. If you're looking for more novels in verse that will totally wreck you, check out Muted by Tammy Charles. It's about a girl who's trying to kickstart her R&B career and ends up falling in with this guy who turns out to be other than what she thought. Instead of helping her with her career, he starts controlling her and really using her. This story made me cry. You should also check out Punching the Air, which is by Evie Zuboy, a really accomplished young adult fiction writer, and Yusuf Salam, who as a teen was falsely accused of a crime he didn't commit. The main character, much like Salam, is put in a juvenile detention facility for a crime he didn't commit, and the way he deals with all these things that are happening to him is to make art and do these graffiti murals. So this story explores the justice system and all the ways it fails and what it feels like to be caught up in it and the ways that art can lift us up and save us from situations we otherwise don't have control over. All three of these books are so good and I like them as a set because they each talk about different aspects of the Black experience. So read them all because they're all really good and they're all novels in verse, which means they're all pretty short. If you're looking for more book recommendations or if you just wanna say hi, get in touch with us. You can DM us on Instagram, you can email us, and of course, you can always visit us in person at Field Teen Center. We're located at 1901 Vine Street, and we're open Monday through Friday from 1 to 5 p.m. These hours can change, so for the most up-to-date information about our hours and any special events, be sure to follow us on social media and check our website. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you find something great to read.